Now I'm going to show you an example of this. I'm going to go to unsplash.com. Unsplash.com has great. Do y'all know Unsplash? It's fine if you do and fine if you don't. Unsplash.com has freely reusable Creative Commons images. And I'm going to look for the path of a SpaceX rocket. But you can pick whatever you want. And I'm going to download this image because I'm allowed to do that as long as I give credit. And then I'm going to go into Desmos and I'm going to upload the image, which I can do by clicking plus and then image. And then I need to find the image on my computer, probably in the downloads. So I click on my SpaceX and then I'm going to move it around because I don't like that it starts at zero here. Okay, so I've got my image here that I want to work with. Are you all with me? I know you may not be doing this right now, but do you understand what I'm saying? How this works? To add the image, you go up here in plus and you click on image and it'll prompt you to upload. I'm going to add three points. I wonder if I can make this draggable. Yes, I can. Okay, so I'm gonna have three points that are draggable and I'm gonna just put the first one at zero, zero. And I see it down here and I'm going to make it large so I can see it more clearly. This purple point down here, and I'm gonna drag it somewhere and you see how it's updating it in the middle? It updated it to where this purple point is. Now I'm gonna add another point. I'll start it at zero, zero as well. And I'm going to move it somewhere on the graph. And then we do my third point, which I will start again at zero, zero. I will drag it somewhere on the graph as well. So now I have these three points in purple that are on the graph that I'm trying to fit. And now it's time to actually do the curve fitting. So I'm going to do Y1 fit to with the tilde key. What type of curve do you think would fit this well? All right, you vote for quadratic. So I'm going to do AX squared. Oh, but I need a sub one here. So it's kind of tricky. On this X, you need a superscript and a subscript. So anywhere I have a variable here. So now I have this beautiful parabola that fits my curve pretty well, but I need to restrict it because I don't want this whole thing. I can even make this be a function that uses those parameters now that I fit them. So I need to restrict it. And that's the other skill we've been working on is I need to restrict this part of this curve. So it looks to me like it starts maybe around x equals two and ends around x equals eight. Now it's not perfect. Maybe if I drag this, as I drag it, it auto fits it, which is kind of nice. If I get it exactly on the points where it needs to be, it'll fit better. But that's interpolation. I have the points I want my curve to fit through exactly. You know the points you want it to pass through and then you figure out the parameters.